Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I wanted to do a review for you, kind of a review, kind of a show off on the new Falconer 30 uh, backpack by VanQuest. And so I didn't want to do a boring review and just have an empty backpack and show you all the cool features of a boring backpack, empty, not filled with any goods. So I packed this one full of med gear and trauma supplies because that's what you guys want to see, I know. So uh, I will go over some of the specs of this new uh, VanQuest bag, um, give you some of the cool specs, but I'll put it all down below if you're one of those type of people that want to read the specs uh, about how big each compartment is or how much it weighs and all that cool stuff. But this one, just kind of a quick overview, some of the cool stuff I packed in this one. So the fabric here is a 1000D Kodora fabric and it also has a water resistant repellent on it. So the material is going to hold up very well. I actually had the older generation VanQuest bag, complete rain, two days, none of my gear got wet. So I also went in and attached the new VanQuest water bottle pouch here, but you could also use it for a radio pouch. It has a total of 30 liters storage capacity. It also has 28 different pockets and slots to help keep you organized. Now I will confess that I carried this backpack at the NRA and I took the waistband out. Uh, I just felt like for what I was using it for, to carry stuff around the NRA it got my way. But obviously if I was carrying a large load of gear in here, that would help disperse some of the weight. So I would put it back in, but it came out very easily. Slides in, it's held nice and secure, nice buckles, and you have more attachment points here on the belt as well. So I carried this backpack all weekend at NRA. Really enjoyed it, it was comfortable, nice padding. We'll take a look at the back compartment here. It's got nice big pull zippers. I like that a lot. Uh, YKK zippers, and then you got the high visibility orange back here. So you could run a hydration pack, you could run soft body armor. Uh, I put my laptop back there. So um, a couple different options you could run back here. Take a look at the side compartment here. This, I did put a cat tourniquet with my holster on the outside here. This is the holster that I designed. So you can find that at the website, shop.skinnymedic.com. Just put a little plug in there for that. This is a Gen 7 cat running on the outside. And like I mentioned earlier, nice water bottle compartment here, and then several big compartments. So we'll start from the smaller compartments and work our way out. All right, so we'll start here. Uh, you got two big pull tab zippers again, open up. And I put some airway in here, some MPAs. And I also had some reference cards. So I decided to put those in there. These are laminated. These are nice. You can get blood, sweat, tears, whatever you want on them. It wipes right off. All right, so we'll go to our next pouch up in the line here. So we got a whole bunch of stuff in this one. I'm turn it so the camera can see it. I'm just going to let this fall open. So did put a pair of safety glasses in here. I put a soft tea tourniquet. This is the brand new soft tea by Type Med Solutions. It's got the upgraded buckle. Put another cat tourniquet. Can't have a, cannot have enough tourniquets. So there's some gloves here. That actually didn't. So another little small pockets running across this bottom ridge here. So here's some two inch tape. A pair of scissors. I put some Fox eye shields here. Secure. Some more gloves. Some forceps. And then ace bandage. Here's some triangle bandages, and then a CPR shield. So this is our first open pocket here. You can see you have smaller pockets running across, some elastic bands here to help th keep things secure. And then here you have some woven shock cord. So you can put a number of different things here. And so I did want to label this a med kit. So I had these med tabs laying around. So that way, if this was in my truck, the Udos don't think this is my camping gear or whatever, so I did want to put this as a medical kit, which is a good idea for your kits. You, know, you can put them in any kind of backpack, just label what you have, even with a Sharpie. Draw on it, write first aid on it, so people know what you're looking at. All right, so we'll go through the smaller pocket here. There you can have some more shock cord. You can secure things on the outside as well. Nice big pull tabs here. And so I put some more smaller boo-boo type stuff. Here's some four by fours. I went in and put another pair of scissors because these things end up walking away. 
There's some more gloves. You have a pocket here and then high visibility, some more elastic bands, a little bit larger. Here's some eye, uh, saline eye wash. You can use it for wound cleaner. Good pair of splinters. And then lots of band-aids, lots and lots of band-aids. So this is what you're gonna probably use the most at right here is the, the band-aids. All right, so we'll go to the middle compartment now. Clamshells open, which is a nice feature. I like the fact that you can just lay it open and get to what you need. So I threw a chem stick in here, some burn dressings, and then we have different pockets. You also have hook and loop here as well. So if you want to attach something here on the outside, the inside here to keep it secured with the hook and loop, you can do that. Here, I put chest seals. Down here, we have pressure bandages. You can still see the bottom on here. You can still see what's inside there. It's a little hard to pick up on camera, but I can see what's inside here. Same thing with this little bit smaller compartment here. And this secures with Velcro, so it can secure tight. So in here, I put some combat galls, some compressed galls, and some more uh, North American galls just to have my wound packing all in one section. All right, so now we'll go to the largest compartment, the back compartment here. There again, clamshells open once again. And I did utilize here the hook and loop. This is the VanQuest um, Molly airlock system, I believe they call it. If I named it wrong, I'll put an annotation down. But it's got shock cord that hooks the hook and loop, so I can pull this loose. So what I attached here is a basic trauma kit. So it has chest seals. I put in a triage tag that if the operator gets time to, they can triage. Cat tourniquet, pressure bandage, and compressed galls. Do have another set of pockets here. And here I put a SAM splint. So that tucks in behind there. Has nice Velcro that's gonna attach. Also I'm gonna put a blood pressure cuff that if you're in extended time or if you need a blood pressure cuff, this pulls loose, this is all together. So you can just hand this to a person, your set scope and your blood pressure cuffs all together and it's gonna to stay together so you don't have to worry about it falling all over your pack. I put some webbing here to make a hasty harness, halo harness. I've done a video on how to make a harness out of that. And then I had some more of the quick reference cards so put them in the back here in case I needed to hand this to a person maybe that wasn't so jam up like skinny medic and hand them to them and say, here, go to work. If you need some help, scroll through this. Light's always an issue sometimes. It seems like everybody wants to get hurt in the middle of the night in the pouring rain. So headlamp is attached here, has a nice attachment point there. You also have more molly lock system here that if you want to molly lock in some of their fat packs, for instance, you could do that. Any number of things you want to secure in here. Overall, I really like the VanQuest gear. I've had a number of their fat packs. We sell a good bit of their fat packs. I've used their fat packs, the little first aid kits, and they're fantastic gear. So you should check it out. I hope the video did two things. One, it obviously shows you the new VanQuest Falconer 30 here. And then I hope it kind of gave you some ideas. Maybe you could put together your own first aid kit. So I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder, bring the right gear and the right training. Remember also, if you'd like to support the Skinny Medic channel, you can go to our Amazon affiliate program, you can go to Patreon, or you can go to shop.skinnymedic.com, buy some of the supplies we mentioned in this video, buy some of our pre-made kits. We appreciate all support, thank you. Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny. No, I'm not gonna yell on the microphone. Also went and attached the new VanQuest radio pouch here. Not a radio pouch, it's a water bottle pouch. The fabric here is a the fabric here is a 1000 dinner Cador fabric, so it's going to be very something.